All right, so this is Can You Make Reads like LeBron James. All right, so I've got vision. I think I've got vision. Even when I play basketball, I've got vision. So, hey, we'll see. I think I'll get most of these right, but, you know, who knows? You guys can do it as well. Uh, let's go. LeBron James is not only one of the most physically talented players to ever play basketball, but he's also one of the smartest. And as he's got better give you time to answer. I don't have to pause it. Ability, with his unmatched basketball IQ, has allowed him to dominate the game in ways that we've not seen before. In this video, we'll go through a few situations that will allow you to try and read the same situation that LeBron does. After each situation, I'll give you an explanation of why LeBron did what he did, but understand that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're wrong if you pick a different option. But each clip can absolutely be justified based on LeBron's skill level and the situation that was laid out for him. Let's get into <coughs> it. All right, let's go. I'll get this. I think I can get this. For the first Hopefully. couple situations, we're gonna look at LeBron using his ball screen and then facing a drop defender after. What does LeBron do right here? He's driving. He's driving. He's he's driving that because there's no one there. There's no one in the paint. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Anytime LeBron comes off cool, the ball cool. Screen, I told you. I got vision. Going downhill, the read is very. very I, I think that anyway. If Hope. there's one defender in front of him. And the paint is empty. Yeah, He's exactly. Exactly. Because there's not a single person in the That's an easy one, though. That's easy. With the first clip, he attacked a very athletic defender in Michael Porter Jr. And in the second clip, he attacked Glenn Sr. <coughs> showing that no matter who's down there, LeBron's going to attack this drop defender if he sees a one on one. He's too tough, bro. He's too tough. Every should LeBron make in this ball screen situation? AD. Come on, man. Nah, these are way too easy. That's AD. It might be a lob. Because they can intercept. Okay. okay. As we Still, I got it right. LeBron it's AD. He could have lobbed it. Every time he uses the ball screen. Right here, that head defender plays right, two out two. higher, closer to that screen to stop LeBron from being able to get momentum going downhill, which opens up that pocket pass opportunity for Anthony Davis. This perfectly illustrates what allows LeBron to dominate a game of basketball. In the same situation, no matter what option you take away, there's another option at his disposal that he's going to be able to exploit you with. In this situation, what does LeBron do right here? Pass over to AD or the guy behind the other guy there with the headband. As we move on throughout this video, you're going to start to see the incredible pressure that LeBron puts on not only his primary defender, but also the help. Defense. Why didn't I read that? I was, think, I was overthinking too much. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, look how small he was. Nah, I should have got that. I'm annoyed. I can't lie. Keep that in mind as the video continues. Of course, look how small he is, bro. Easy. What's LeBron's read in this situation right here? Danny Green, or the guy in the corner. No, the lob. That's a lob. He's open. Yeah. Got it. I told you. So only just, only just. I just clocked. It was late, but I still got it. I still got it. It's just see him open. LeBron isn't able to just drive and take this guy one on one. The problem with the defense doing this that it forces them to have really, really good rotations in order to make up for that and take away that open lob. And Portland has terrible rotations right here. And as soon as Nurkic starts to go, you'll see JaVel McGee start to point up to signal to LeBron to throw this lob. Ultimately, there is nobody in the NBA who puts more pressure on the help defense than LeBron James. Easy, yeah. Uh, what should LeBron His vision's do too sick. Here? Too sick. Him there, number five, or Wesley Matthews in the corner. He's what, yeah. His vision, man, how'd he see that? He just remembered where everyone was from last time he looked. See, he didn't even look around. So that forces Horton Tucker's defender to play down low. Easy, easy. This is why he's the second best player of all time. He's not the best, but it's arguable. What should LeBron do in this situation here? He's the best passer, I think. Behind Magic. Um, um, AD, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't say his name. I knew, I knew who it was. I knew what it was going to do. I just couldn't LeBron say the name quick enough. Yeah, he was open. 
meaning there's going to be a swing to the opposite wing available. And even though LeBron makes this look like a very, very basic pass, he throws this ball before Anthony Davis is really even in <coughs> the spot. He leads Anthony Davis to the spot, getting him a good look from three. And despite the miss, LeBron is right there to clean it up. If you guys want to improve your perimeter scoring abilities, make sure you guys go to the top link in my description below to get my free midterm to score workout. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next. That's it, guys. Peace. Yeah. Hey, so I've got like four out of five. But yeah. Hey, that was a good video. You know, LeBron's LeBron's sick. His vision's crazy. His vision's mad. So, you guys must have got a four out of five at least, at least, because that, that was an easy one. I was expecting harder ones in it, but that's it.